Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you a product roadmap template, and it's actually on the screen right here. You can see this is a product roadmap. This is from Monday.com, and I'm showing you this because this is actually a template that you can one click here. And then once it opens up inside of your free trial account, what it's going to look like is something like this. And the free trial, the way that works is they have a 14 day free trial. It is paid after that, but it gives you some time to mess around with this and see if this is a good fit for you. But Monday.com is one of the best as far as um, project management tools because it's so visual and they give you a ton of different options, workflow automations, and a lot of different visuals that you can look at to look at where projects are at and where your roadmap is going. So this particular case, the way this works is this is a folder over here. And within that folder are actually two different boards, right? So this board view is because you might want to just see things in terms of quarter goals, right? And then this one's your overall product planning, uh, really laid out detail by detail. So each one of these rows here is an item. So if you want to add a new item, you can do that. And these are just ones that are kind of placeholders here for you. But you can start a conversation for each item, which I'd highly recommend. So everything is organized inside of that board. Very helpful if you have a new team member come in. So they're not asking different questions of like, hey, how did this come up? What's the, the backstory on this? All that should be inside of the co uh, communication thread. Now for the owner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have admin and then I'm going to just kind of assign this person one, person one and then person two, person two, okay? And this is gonna be really helpful when I show you the dashboard view that we're gonna look at in a little bit. We're gonna create that together in this video. So you have your status. So this is done, stock, backlog, this quarter, whatever you wanna make it, priority, all right? Estimated timelines here, very easy to change these. Like let's say um, I'm doing this, but this timeline just got bumped up. That's all we do, and that changes the timeline. And then you can make things dependent on. A lot of times, you know, it's like, well, we need to get this other thing done before we do this. So like this particular case, I'm gonna say, this project is dependent on the, the uh, item before it to be done. Uh, if there's any specs you wanna upload, you can upload them uh, from a link, Google Drive, whatever you want, or you can even create your own docs inside of money.com with the specs for that project. Uh, and then you also have your um, quarterly goals here. So this automatically will pull in everything that you're looking at for this. Uh, it's interesting too, it'll even give you the start times and like how close you are to this goal. And some of the stuff that's really powerful with this are some of the filters. So why I uh, mentioned that is like, let's say um, you have some different uh, statuses here, all right? And I wanna look at just what hasn't been started yet at all. So what I can do is I can go to filter view and then go to statuses and you're like, just show me things that aren't started yet. All right, well, here are all the projects that haven't been started yet. You know what? I, I don't care about that. I wanna see projects that are stuck. All right, well, here are the ones that are stuck. So you can see how filtered views is really powerful. What's even more powerful than that, in my opinion, is creating automations. So you can create workflow automations by clicking up here and you can create custom ones. But what I wanna do is I wanna do one that's gonna notify somebody, all right? So um, uh, how about we do a custom automation? I'm gonna try this uh, from scratch. So um, when uh, status changes to something, then I wanna notify or send an email, all right? So then what I do is I go up here and I say when status changes to, and I'm gonna do stuck. So somebody's telling me I'm stuck on this project, then I'm going to, uh, you can connect your Gmail account if that's what you wanna do, uh, and then email, and then I'm gonna say the item name, and then I'm just gonna say the uh, status, all right? Uh, so it's gonna say item name status, and then um, I just say uh, this item is stuck, please take a look, all right? And this is automatically gonna pull from there, all okay? right? And then I can make this, uh, how about in this case it's me, or you can do a specific team member or people that are even subscribed to the board, create automation. Uh, I do have to actually connect my Gmail to get this automation to work, uh, but I'm gonna go back. And then once you have these things, it's super easy then to train your staff to say, hey, if you're stuck on a project, just go in here, and you know, you're assigned to this project, just click stuck. It's gonna automatically fire an email over to my, uh, me as the admin and I'm gonna know, okay, this person needs help. All right, so I wanna show you how the status works now. So let's say um, this one right here, we got some that are stuck, but you'll notice that this one's done. So it's gonna be there because it's not gonna change things in the past, but this scroll action design is now done. What happens is this is gonna automatically move into the finished projects at the bottom here. So again, very powerful because you can have communication and emails fire, you can have things automatically moving over, you can have things updated. And then what's really cool is you can look at different views. So this is um, this quarter here. Uh, if you wanna look at a Gantt chart view, that's gonna give you this kind of view because like, everyone kind of views information differently. I love Gantt chart views, other people don't. But one of the cool things too is you can see how different projects are connected, right? In different ways. 
Now, really powerful tool as well as your dashboard. Your dashboard is something that you can create to look at um, as a manager and be able to get an easy idea of what's going on. So we have a calendar view if you want to look at that. Um, but what I really like about the dashboards is uh, if you get to a widget, um, why don't I look at, let's see if there's a widget for statuses. I don't even know if there is. So we can look at the um, search status. Um, yep, see a uh, status overview. So now what I can see is product planning, and this is going to give me a progress. And this progress, 42.9%, is based on all the information in the default view of where we are at uh, as far as going forward on estimated timelines and if we're actually on track or not. So uh, all this information is super easy to do and it's very easy and convenient to set up. So why don't we look at one more widget because I'm curious. Um, I don't look, I'd rather see the Gantt chart view because I like this one better. So if you want, we can go up here and we can click on the three dots. I want to delete this one out, okay? And then I think I like the Gantt chart view better. So I'm gonna put this up here. And then um, why don't we create another widget? Um, let's see, uh, numbers, let's see what we can get with numbers. So numbers, you can click right here and you can click settings. And what you can do is you can actually choose groups. All right, so we got all the different groups in here, but then we wanna look at different numbers. So let's say that you're interested in what the budget for these projects are gonna be. So that's really simple to do. All you'd have to do is, I'm gonna delete this status here because um, we don't need that. I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to put in numbers. So then let's say you start assigning what you think the cost of different things are going to be based on man hours. Uh, and you can also change it. Like you can actually put in a column for hours. You can put their hourly rate. You can figure out all this stuff uh, using equations. Uh, but in this particular case, I'm just going to do this. And I'm just kind of putting in some theoretical costs for things. And then uh, let's say this one's only 50 bucks. All right. So we go back to our dashboard. Now, if we go to numbers, settings. I can say, you know what, I just need this to be, um, I think it was Q4, okay. And then I'm gonna open up numbers and then I'm gonna click this button right here. And what this is doing is it's giving me the sum cost of everything that is gonna happen in that um, default view. Uh, so let me go back here. So this is Q4 plans. So if I wanna go to the dashboard, I might say, you know what, this is just Q4 numbers, all right. And again, you can see how powerful this is because you have your dashboard, your command center to be able to see everything. And if I go back here and I was to change something, like let's say we change this one from 50 to a crazy number, very high, 500,000. Go back to the dashboard. Now you can see that the Q4 budget number is now $509,000. So you can see how it's so easy to be able to create such a nice looking product roadmap, but be able to create a dashboard along with automations and workflows. And again, you can find the link to this free template in the description of this video or the pinned comment. Again, thank you for using my link as it is an affiliate link. So if you do end up going with money.com, I may receive a commission. And the last thing I wanna to mention too, is there's two videos on the screen. One is a beginner's guide to money.com. Gonna kinda of cover some of the things we covered in this video. It's gonna go into a little bit more detail. But the automation workflows, that's gonna go into more detail on that. And you may find that very helpful when you're managing a large project. So good luck managing your product and I look forward to catching you in the next video.